Hey, welcome into Streaming University, the tech, the technical part of Streaming University. I'm your host and teacher, Kirk Harnack. I'm glad you're here. I'll be with you for uh, several videos to come here while we learn about this stuff together. This is going to be uh, Chapter 1, Topics and Streaming Overview. And by the way, this program, uh, these series of videos is intended for engineers, technicians, and IT professionals. We're going to cover a lot of ground here, and some of this you may already know, but a refresher and update is probably prudent, so we're all on the same page and, and all have the latest information. We'll be talking about audio processing for coding, audio bit rate reduction, codecs, bit rates and quality, hardware versus software, metadata, content distribution networks, and uh, some more advanced options. Indeed, a lot to learn you have. Let's take a look at the uh, an overview of the streaming process, just to make sure we're all together on how that works. Let's start with a source, a source of audio, your control room or your automation system. Next is the all-important audio processor to keep your audio consistent. A lot more about that is coming up in a later episode. Processed audio then goes to the audio codex. Now, these can be set to the desired coding algorithms, such as MP3 or AAC, they're also set to the desired bit rate, or perhaps different bit rates for several of them. Higher bit rates equal better audio quality. The trade-off is that lower bit rates are easier to deliver to mobile devices and through slower internet connections. Now, these encoded streams are selectable and switchable to several output streams. You may very well have a confidence monitoring stream for local monitoring or private monitoring. And then we might have, a, I guess, what appears to be a little bit of a switch matrix there. We take the streams and we prepare them for several different types of streaming servers, such as Shoutcast, Icecast, a Wowza server, a Triton servers, or any CDN, Content Distribution Network. And finally, Metadata can be ingested from the audio source or via middleware that aggregates data and, uh, and gets it ready to ship out here to the encoders. And that can be added to the streaming uh, audio either at the encoders or in some cases it can be sent directly to the CDN for them to insert that data. A couple different ways to, to get that done. So that's a quick look at our topics and where we're going with the, uh, the overview of the streaming process. Lots more exciting topics are coming up and some in-depth conversations about those. Stay tuned. <laughs>